So let's go ahead and let's press the quick connect button. And there we are, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, we have full access to the file system. Hey, what is up everybody? Michael Crump back here again, talking about the latest and the greatest in PlayStation homebrew news and much, much more. So there's been a couple of updates in the PlayStation 5 kernel exploit for 4.03 and 4.50 over the last couple of hours. And one of them that I wanted to cover was the BD-JB for PS5 with payload support. So this was a tweet that came out by Slayer's Gorvey, and basically he has an ISO image that is going to act as a server that's going to open up on port 9019 in order for you to send payloads to it. So if you go to this tweet, again, this will be linked into the description below. You can come right over here to this site and you'll find that this is just an ISO image. So go here and then just download this ISO image. And in just a second, I'll be walking you through step by step on how to use this. And the other thing that you're going to need to download is going to be this payload right here by Control Execute. And this payload is going to be a PS5 FTP payload, which means we're going to be able to navigate in and see the actual file system on the PlayStation 5 itself. Now, what's really interesting here is, is that we'll also be able to take a look at a disk that's inserted into the PlayStation 5, and we could even download and start ripping some of these PlayStation 5 discs, which is a huge advancement in where we're currently have been at in the PlayStation 5 scene. So go ahead and download this ISO image as well as this payload and come right back to the video. Okay, go ahead and connect your Blu-ray burner to your computer here and you can use pretty much any type of application that will allow you to burn iso images to a disk in my instance i'm just using image burn here so if you're using image burn just go to write image file to disk and it did detect that i have a disk in here this is a disk that i've already wrote to once so that is why it says disk not empty and we need to select that file Okay, so here is that file, and now we're just going to press the right button here and select yes to continue. It should only take a few minutes, and then you'll be able to insert that into your PlayStation 5. Okay, and there it is. It is done. So now I'm going to take that disc out and we're going to head over to the PlayStation 5. Okay, so I just powered back on my PlayStation 5. And as you can see right here, I do not have the debug settings anymore. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take that disc that I just burnt and I'm going to insert that into my PlayStation 5. Okay, I see the little disc spinning up at the top and we're going to hit the play button here on the Blu-ray disc. Okay, so there you're starting to see some debug messages come through. And up at the top it has sockets. And then it says, failed to reclaim master spray 2. So I believe we may need to just reboot in order to try to clear this up. Okay, there's the debug messages again. Okay, so there we go. It does say enjoy your KRW for your kernel read write. So it does say now that the payload server is running on port 9019, which is exactly what we were waiting for. Okay, let's go ahead and let's FTP into this bad boy. He did say that this is going to be port 9019. Now, I already have an application that I've been using for quite some time to send payloads. I will put a link to this down into the description if you want to use this one. So what I've done is I went ahead and I plugged in my PS5's IP address. And so for the port here, instead of 9020, that's actually going to be 9019. Now we can press connect. And it does say that we are connected. 
So now let's go to search payload and I'm just navigating to the payload.bin right here and now I'm going to press send payload. Okay, so it did say that the payload was sent successfully. Okay, PC listening on 10.0.141. So it looks like that time it picked up. Okay, and so here I've got a FileZilla opened. You can use whatever FTP that you would like, obviously, here. And so I've got my IP address of my PlayStation 5. I have nothing for the username and nothing for the password. And then for the port, I've got 1337. So let's go ahead and let's press the quick connect button. And there we are, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, we have full access to the file system. So taking a look at all of this, this is very much new to me, so I'm kind of exploring it here with you. Obviously, the thing that I think is the most interesting would be the user folder. So there is an app meta that's in here. Okay, all kinds of goodies to play with uh, in here. So maybe I'll just take one of these really fast and we'll drag that to my PS5 folder here. So obviously, you can copy all of the files that's now in this FTP server back over to a local disk, which is very interesting and very cool here. And so here is some of the things that I just downloaded. So I'm going to open up this image here and well, there we go. There is Metal Gear Solid, which was a PS4 title. Again, I'll be exploring this in a lot more detail in future videos. So let's just go ahead and let's see what else is in here. So here is downloads. So there is also save data. So there is a bunch of different files that we will be exploring here on the channel. So, okay, so pretty interesting stuff in there. Let's see what else that we have that I may just want to kind of call out quickly here. Um, one of them I think would be interesting is this update folder. So we might be able to do things, you know, such as what we're doing on the PlayStation 4 where we come in here and we create a new file and we basically just give it that same title as an update. So I also think it'll be interesting to look in the mount folder here and I do have a USB stick installed. So that means that if I go to my USB zero here, then what I have is exactly what was on that stick. So yeah, I've got some PS3 stuff, PS4 stuff, and there is the packages I've been using in some of the previous demos here. Now, what is interesting is that there is also this disk folder, and I can hear the disk drive spinning up right now. And this is the actual ISO image that we burned to a Blu-ray disk. Now, I think everybody wants to see what about actual PS5 disk? If you insert those in there, can you copy the contents off of them? And well, I think you're going to be very pleased with the answer. So let's take this game that hardly nobody talks about. It's called Foreclosed. It got horrible reviews, but I actually was a fan of this kind of comic book style series like 13 or the game 13. So let's try my retail disc here. Okay, we'll go to disc. There is app and there is a couple of PKGs in there. There is BD right here. It has a param.json. Here is the RIF file for the disk. And here is another PS5 and then update. So this PS5 update.pup, this is going to be the actual update that the disk requires you to use. The good news is, is that we can take a look at our PlayStation 5 disk now, and we have access to the file system. So very cool things to come. So thank you so very much for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. Michael.